Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. And let me just say, my experts that I have on every week care about this channel, care about you. Omar is sitting in Hawaii at six in the morning doing this recording from us with us. So uh, Omar, I just want to thank you with all my heart. Thank you for being here every week. Thank you for doing this. Greatly appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks, Michael, for having me. Awesome. Well, let's jump into topic number one. Uh, I have said uh, that the housing market is broken. The Fed broke the market. Housing is changing fast. The slowdown is real. All of these things. I think you happen to be in a market of California that probably will feel it first. So let me just ask, what's going on in the high desert? Is it changing? Is it broken? What's going on? Right now, Michael, it's crazy. Uh, we've had the uh, lowest amount of pendings Ooh. Uh, in two years. Okay. In, in, in a week span. Right. Uh, yeah, we can, like, week and a half, 10 days. Um, and the listings on the market are now at 900. And just for everybody's reference, what would they have been like a month ago? Uh, like three months ago, they would have been 500, 550, 600 max. Wow. And the pendings would have been substantially up because obviously people are buying, 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 and the supply is still remaining low along with the pendings, you know, increasing. Yeah. So this is what I've been telling folks. We have demand destruction going on. Interest yes, rates shot do. up. We, uh, buyers are backing out. Buyers were qualified, aren't qualified. The market has, it's almost like an earthquake. You and I live in California. We've, we've felt earthquakes, right? Mm -hmm. And they just come out and they just smash you. So uh, it's still going to take some time to unwind. Uh, days on market, certainly going to go up. That's a sign of a slowdown. They are. Yep. Uh, listings going to go up, price drops going to go up. Uh, but that doesn't necessarily mean values are going to fall because um, I think a lot of the price drops early are going to be people that we're reaching, right? Correct. We're reaching. So, so what, what else is going on uh, in the market that you've seen? It, let's talk about that reaching aspect of it real quick, because um, a lot of my sellers, you know, relate to this show. Mm -hmm. Um, and they want the extra 20 or $30,000 on top of their listing price mm -hmm. and their listing price is unrealistic in the first place. And those are the ones that are going to be having the price reductions, in it, which I've talked to yeah. and we've had built in price reductions to sustain and to put out the product at a reasonable price for it to sell. Yeah. And if you don't have a savvy enough or straightforward enough uh, real estate professional, if you're listing houses, then your house is going to sit. Yeah. And, and then it's not the fault of the agent. In a sense, it is if they don't let yeah. you know exactly what the market's doing. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm sure the client makes the last call, but you, as an agent, sure. it is your responsibility to paint the possible future, right? Because again, the beauty about real estate is you only need one buyer. You just never know if that one buyer might come in. That's just like the fit for that house. Uh, but for most of them, it's, Hey, you're late. You know, the market's not, it's, it's now may 2022. It's not may 2021. The market is different. And Oh, by the way, we're not at 350 actives. We're at 900 and we're adding seemingly 10 a day. So just realize you're, you're competing with others. The, the big question I have for you. And if you don't know the answer, totally. Okay. What percent of the people listing today do you think, purely a guess, purely a guess, will take it off the market and decide to stay if they don't get their price? Or do you think they're like Ooh. done and they're moving out of state and they're going to sell no matter what? Do you have any guesses? I think on that, Michael, um, it's probably going to be a good 30%. Okay. I think three out of 10 listings yeah. are going to say, screw it. Um, we're staying, we're yeah. not going to get another, um, interest rate the same. Mm -hmm. And then obviously I think the other, I would say the other 30% is yeah. going to be like, no, moving out of state and they're done with California. Then yeah. the other 30% are like, you know what, maybe we are not going to move because we can't find another place to move to. That's the downsizing or upgrading Yeah, and they're staying put. Um, yeah. 
and it's not necessarily because of the equity that they're on that they aren't making. Oh yeah, it's just because you can't find another property yet. Yeah, so that's interesting, right? So you just did three thirds, which was very cool. Uh -huh. So there's one third that's basically they're they're already mentally sold, so Correct. they're going to take a number, and uh -huh. it's going to be probably lower than list. And they're going to they're going to go. They're either going to go to their second home or they're going to move out of state or whatever. So those people will sell and maybe they take a haircut, meaning on, on list price. But the other two thirds. Those really those will come off the market, right? If you yeah. if you're if you find interest rate lock in and you feel like your house is special and nobody appreciates you and there's no offers in 60 days, you'll just take it off. You'll stay put. Correct. But let me add something to this. This is. <laughs> These are sellers that were in escrow and then the buyer backed out because <laughs> oh. of the interest rate. Those are the ones that are going to stay put as like, well. Yeah. Because again, and then the other one, the trade down, right? Yeah. It's going to be very interesting to watch those folks because as inventory builds, I think the market's about to bifurcate. I think in, I think in the high desert, it's a lot like Fresno and probably like a lot of other markets. I think everything that is kind of first time buyer stuff, I think stays red hot. Yes. But it's that move up buyer, right? That So I don't know in your market, my market, like, let's just call median 400. Mm -hmm. So anything like 350 and below flies off the shelf. Right. You know, anything that's six to like maybe 800, kind of that, you know, new home, big stuff, you know, 4,000 square feet stuff. I think that stuff's going to sit. I just think too much of that stuff was built over the last couple of years. You know what? Uh, case in point, there was one house on the market in our area that was, uh, they were asking a million one, Woo. and and it's not in a it's in a subpar neighborhood, but the house itself was overbuilt. It was mm -hmm. a a previous it was a builder mm -hmm. that built his own home that we're gonna that was gonna stay. Yeah, and four days five days on the market. I mean, exquisite. You know, one story. A, a, a pool casita an rv garage a pool just done the whole just done right um yeah six days and it sold for a million one wow yeah i mean you only need and one this buyer. Is a high desert man yeah and i'm sitting here like are you kidding me right now i'd be spending a million one in an appreciating market yeah. in orange county yeah like they'll never i'm not gonna say they're never gonna get more money out of it but yeah. Uh, there is not much uh, juice left. In that lemon. <laughs> yeah, that, that lemon's pretty, uh, pretty aged, pretty dry. It's That's, dry. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. again, let, let's kind of look to the future because I, I think the high desert's a lot like Fresno. I think we're going to see the next, like, dude, this is the spring selling season. It we're going to, we're going to, we're going to see some inventory, not a lot of buyers. Inventory is no. going to swell. I mean, we ran into this brick wall fast. Right. Listings. Oh, we're, go and we're not even there yet. No, no. We've made contact, but like, I guess it's a train falling off the track. Like the lead cars off the track, but there's all kinds of more coming. Right. It, oh, it, this time. is going to be messy. I think it's going to be really messy, especially the ones that um, are having some extra properties uh, on the high side mm -hmm. that are not, um, you know, in that median yeah. where it's red hot and, it's going to be interesting to say the least. And then uh, as, as, as a flipper as well, um, you know, it's going to be a great deal. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And, and the, this is where the condition of the property is going to be the, um, the, the, the caveat, because if I can buy the property, put 10 K into it really quick lipstick fast, and it's still under the median home price, you're golden. It's the one that you're going to spend 45, 50,000, $60,000 on, on the rehab. Yeah. You're going to have to question yourself a little bit. Yeah. I got to tell you, um, as somebody who has not flipped as many as you, but did close to 60 flips in the last three years, there's stuff that I bought last year that I wouldn't touch today. No, it's just a different, like last year, no inventory, simple, even with delays, you won anything today, like windows, windows are pain, right? There's pain in the ass. Yeah. Like new appliances and, and all of this stuff. I, I, you know, unless it's really below the median and my exit's below the median and it's truly lipstick, I think there's a lot of stuff I wouldn't flip today. Right. I just, no, I just, 100%. That, my last deal, that, that big one that we sold yeah. for 808, yeah. I would not do that same deal right now. Yeah. It's just, there's it's no way I would have bought it for 500K. 
Here's the big question. And I actually don't know what you're going to say. Do so what's the high desert median last time you checked like 436 or something? No, no, no. We're, we're still, we're you're at 405, four? Oh, four or five, 405. Okay. So here's the big question. Everyone's going to gonna drop know. tomorrow. It's going to drop. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So what do you think? So again, you're calling for the median price in the high desert to fall. 375. Okay. All right. So we're going to see some, so that's what? 360. So that's 10%. Let's call it. Mm -hmm. You think it falls that fast in the next 12 months, six months? What do you think? Oh, I say it falls in 12 months. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to have to. Why? Because there's going to be 1500 houses for sale. Yeah. 1800 there's, i'm gonna say there's gonna be 1500 houses for sale in the next six months yeah people need to realize again housing house a 10 percent fall in the high desert makes perfect sense people need to go back car.org if you are a data junkie go to car.org look at the mm -hmm. look at all of the metros the msas they call them in the high desert it's like it's the last one to feel the run-up and it's the first one to feel the pullback it makes yes. perfect sense yeah so, uh, and, and I think a 10% fall in a year makes perfect sense. I wouldn't call that a crash. I'd probably call that a correction. Correction, uh, adjustment. Adjustment, yeah. But again, that is something you need to understand as an investor, as a real estate agent. Um, and also you got to realize just because the high desert falls 10% doesn't mean Orange County falls 10%. No, if anything, it probably increases. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it goes the other way. Yeah, Orange County is a special place. Uh, yep, close get, to the beach. Yeah, close to the beach, very small footprint, not a lot of new homes. It's, it's just different. So again, there will be markets. And I would have guessed the high desert was one of them that we'll see a price just because it has before, right? Data, data's out there. We can go look at it. So, And this is the other part too, um, the rental market. Mm -hmm. You know, as it increases, you're going to have to ask yourself as a landlord, do you want to ride that wave all the way up mm -hmm. and hope that you get that rental Mm -hmm. uh, payment every single month, or do you want to stay a little conservative under the, yeah. the inflation of rental, uh, uh, the rental prices. And, and then you have a loyal tenant that keeps, I paying. would strongly suggest the latter. I actually just did a video. It's funny. You brought that up about landlords. Now it's time to be conservative. Don't grind. Don't go for the max dollars. No, we, we just had two amazing years. It's about to be two rough years. Be more conservative. 100%. You want them to pay that payment. Yeah. Make it easy. Don't be, don't be a jerk. Omar, this is so much fun. It's going to be fun to watch this. We talk every week. Where can people find you? you guys follow me on IG at Omar underscore Alfaro or my website, omaralfaro.com. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you.